The wheat fields at the foot of the Tokachi Mountains, which rise over 2,000 meters above sea level. It is May, and spring, later than usual, has finally come to Asaikawa, Hokkaido. Takashi Hirai has spent many years trying to find a way to successfully raise crops under the adverse natural conditions of this northern land. Now that the snow has melted, and with the air getting warmer with each passing day, the wheat planted the year before grows fast under the sun. The Urias are beginning a new experiment with this vast green wheat field. The wing-like nozzles protruding from the tractor are not for spraying agricultural chemicals. Instead, they spray a water solution containing microorganisms. This is a mix of rice bran and wheat bran. And there are about 3 billion, I mean 3 billion microorganisms per one gram. When they are dissolved in water, it means that at least 40 million to 50 million microorganisms per one cc are sprayed on the earth. The microorganisms, such as bacteria and molds, compose such things as hormones and vitamins. And when they are dissolved in water and sprayed, it works well for the soil and gives much nutrition to vegetables. The microbial solution serves as a soil conditioner to improve the quality of the soil. Local expectations are high for the harvest at the end of July. In Hokkaido, crops are mainly grown in greenhouses until the mid-April thaw. How are they turning out? Yes, there sure is an obvious difference. This year, a new experiment was conducted in the greenhouse, one involving testing of the microbial soil conditioner on part of the green pepper field. Note the size of the green pepper grown in an ordinary field, without the benefit of the microorganisms. This green pepper on the left, planted at the same time, was cultivated using the soil conditioner. If these two stems are put together, the thickness is three times greater. And they are this tall. I'm sorry if this may sound made up, but the difference is so obvious that the best way to express it would be to say that this one is a human creation, and this one is an earth creation. The microorganisms are also working actively in the soil of the spinach field. Spinach seeds planted in the spring usually yield a harvest in about 45 days. But the microorganisms seem to speed up growth. They have more leaves and the stems are thicker. The color looks better too. From the time of budding to harvest, it was two days faster than the other periods. So there was an obvious difference. Yes, there was, definitely. Naturally, the earlier the greenhouse vegetables are sent to the market, the better the price they bring. There is an obvious difference in the growth. I used it last year, but this year it was a week, or even faster than the last year. So it gets faster and faster? Yes, that's right. The use of the microorganisms not only speeded up growth, but also improved the taste of the crops. This is very delicious, isn't it?
Yeah. It's as good as strawberries. <laughs> yes, it is good. I mean it. This greenhouse began to use the microbial soil conditioner on petite tomatoes three years ago, and results exceeded the farmer's expectations. Well, I always worked very hard, but I had the problem of not being able to produce tomatoes as good as I really wanted them to be. And what is your impression now? Mm, well, first, I could not quite believe in what I was doing, and it took a while to get used to the idea. But now, looking at them, I even feel that I also want to try it elsewhere. And what do you think of the taste? Yes, well, the sugar content is satisfactory, and a lot can be expected in the future. The difference this solution makes, first of all, is in the hardness of the soil. Oh, I got only about 14 centimeters. In the beginning, the soil inside and outside the greenhouse was the same. This is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, about 70 centimeters, with the same strength. They tried digging the soil at the roots of the tomato plant. This, this soil here, this is soft. This has been aggregated and formed a structure. This is the soil from outside, isn't it? Can you break it? Just about. Inside, you can see the white part and the red part. This shows that under this condition, water will stop at this point. So it's very solid with bad water drainage. It was originally that kind of soil, very solid. What happens to the soil with microorganisms? This, as you can see, is so easy. You can even break it with one hand. The water drainage is good, and it also holds water well. The rooting is easier, which means that the condition of the soil is good. Yes, there are plenty of rooms. That's why it can hold lots of air inside. Roots breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. If there isn't enough air, the roots will start rotting, and they become lifeless. Once the thin roots penetrate, and if they leave lots of microorganisms while they are growing, as there is plenty of oxygen, the roots decompose and become inorganic soil. So, like a well, after that, they go their own way. And little by little, the aggregation proceeds deeper into the soil. Oh, please tell me, is there any way to aggregate soil more quickly using chemicals instead of microorganisms? Well, there is a problem here. You know, human beings, as well as other living things like this, are living according to the Earth time cycle. But we, for instance, ride in a car and get to the Asahikawa City Hall in 40 minutes, where, according to the Earth time cycle, it should take six hours. If we want to get there in 40 minutes, we will. And we have been making it happen. This is a reality. So we may want to put this case under the same theory. But in terms of time cycle and space, these things were set by the universe. So if human beings try to shorten the time cycle related to living things, this logic is the same as saying, I want to live 200 years. Things are created by the universe. There is no other way but to follow the rules of the universe. <laughs>